Uh, do you have your stuff? Oh, I need to merge that data. Mmm, I forgot I changed my name. Let's hope this works now. Please. Yay, I did! Hey, okay. Hey guys, welcome to Population Craft. Uh, episode 1. So this is going to be very interesting. I know I said I wouldn't be doing po any Population Craft episodes, but... Well, okay, I need a better place to talk about this. Uh, oh, I believe I know the perfect place. What I'm going to do is snap and... Hey guys, please, please, yeah, so I chose to come up to my creeper farm um, place. So it's profitable for me because I, I need the rockets and I can talk to y'all. So, news time. So, I said I wouldn't be doing any Population Craft episodes. What changed? Well, I had this plan the entire time, and you're gonna have to wait to the end of the episode for a more in-depth look, but I will say now that this was all planned, and I'm not flaking out on that promise, um, but I do have a good reason for it, and just watch to the end of the episode to take a look at that. Um, two, I've changed my name. So for you diehard fans out there, Okay, there's not as many of you as I thought there were. Um, so for those of you that are diehard fans, um, my name has always been a bit of Barry, and I changed that it to that a little before I got my channel. Whoa! Ugh, Jake! No. Oh. Well, I changed the name before before I got the channel to a bit of Barry. Yeah, so I just changed it to Ghost Form Plays, so it's my channel name now. Uh, it's just more with the channel, and I also, because I think any name change deserves a new skin, I've changed the skin, uh, just a little, so the face is still kind of the same, but then y you have a new shirt, and you can still see kind of the remains of it right there, and then the back, oh, you can't see it, I have a, I have a cape on. Yeah, so I think this is going to be a really fun season, and I'm really excited to do this, and we can watch the creepers die. That's very satisfying. Nine gunpowder, let's go. So I am currently online with my good friend, the Savage Normal, and he's just playing. He'll be playing on and off throughout the entire series. And if you want to see his POV, um, then go check out his channel. Link in the description and in the cards. So plans for this, plans for this episode. I need a new shop. So if we take a look, and Jake, if you could sleep. If we go over here and take a look you can see we have the monopoly co shop and it's a nice shop but it's had its share of wear and tear you can see there's a fence here and there's not here and there's been a couple of explosions just right here and the overall niceness of it has just gone away over time um so we're gonna fix that and we're just gonna build a completely new shop now, I'm not going to reveal what I have the idea for yet. Jake's listening. Right here. Yeah. But I will say I need a lot of glass. And I have one good way to get glass. And that is one change since my other video when I showcased the map. And that is a villager, villager hall. But I have a villager hall. And of course I can get stuff like diamond tools. Oh. It didn't, it, it didn't save my villager zombifying. Okay, well, normally these are all one emerald, but because I changed my name and had to merge data, it didn't do that. So I'll have to fix that or something. But, so I can get, but I can get all this glass from here. It's really cheap, Wait, just one wait. emerald. But I need a couple stacks of this stuff. So we can, anyway, we need to get a bunch of glass. So... Do I have any more dudes that'll give me glass? So basically, I can get emeralds for sticks. And if you're not familiar with the villager trading hall, that's the whole thing. You get emeralds for sticks, like 32. And then you, uh, through a lot of maneuvering and stuff, you can use those emeralds and get 
enchanted books, and then you can discount them by zombifying them. And I have some, I have a zombie behind here currently in a boat. But yeah, so that's the whole trick here. And anyway, so yeah, so we need to get a bunch of glass, and I'm actually just gonna go and mine it because I don't really want to deal with all the emerald and training stuff right now so yeah let's head into a time lapse and all right guys so before we start on building our shop we need to get recovered a bit so after the after we beat the ender dragon a bit back um and i died i just kind of lost all my stuff and i haven't i still haven't fully recovered i still need to get enchantments but i also am wanting to get netherite so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into a time lapse and we're just gonna go in the nether and mine some netherite so, I think I'm pretty much ready to go, uh, just need to empty out my inventory, and we're gonna see how much netherite we can get. I've put efficiency 5, fortune 3, and stuff all on this pick, so yeah, I'm just wondering how much we can actually get. Let's hop into a time lapse, and... Okay, well, I think my pickaxe is about broke, so I think it's probably time to end that expedition and head back. But we've just gotten 13 ancient debris in under 20 and 20 minutes. In around 20 minutes. I mean, insane. 13 of these guys. 13 ancient debris. 13! I mean... That's, that's unheard of everywhere else. You cannot get 13 ancient debris. Okay guys, so all in all, we got out of the nether with 13 ancient debris in just around 20 minutes of mining. I mean, that, that's pretty insane, even with the pick like this. I mean, that's gotta be on the top 100 charts or something. But I mean, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty incredible. Um, so yeah, that was a very successful trip. Um, uh, my pickaxe is almost broke, so I came back. Um, yeah, and this is, I left most of the netherrack. I got this in like five minutes. So we definitely had a success there. Um, so yeah, so let's get to work on building our new shop. Now, what we need to do is we need to get stuff to put in here. So, first, let's start stocking up tools. Now, where am I going to get these tools? 
Well, I know the perfect place to get them from. Guys, so there's only one good way that we can stock our shop for really cheap, and that is my villager farm thingy. Yeah. So what we can do is we can get these diamond tools for incredibly cheap, just one emerald for 32 sticks and completely stock up and then sell them really expensive or kind of in between and get a lot. And because we have discounts, we can also get these for really cheap and all that. But there is one, well, one small problem and that is I changed my name. Oh, I, I, I just have an arrow sticking out of my ear, like, and I'm not even focused on it, like, bruh. But anyway, I changed my name. So, I merged the data, but I didn't get advancements, and I didn't get these discounts. Well guys, I'm just gonna have to live with this for now. Um, I know it's sad, but, yeah, I'm just gonna have to kind of live with that currently, even though it's a sad truth and all that. We're just gonna have to deal with it. I know it's sad, it's annoying, because I spent a lot of time zombifying these guys. But, I can't actually zombify real easily, so, as I said, one point earlier, I have a zombie right here, so we're just gonna zombify these guys. Okay, now, kill that villager. Murder him. There we go. Okay, so, we're zombifying this guy again. I don't want to, but whatever. There we go. He was zombified. Now, let's put a boat. Let's trap this guy back from into the death depths from which he came. And we'll shove it into there. Oh, no. Okay. Well, we're not have to keep it like that. Hope he doesn't get out. Yeah. I don't like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now, we need stuff for zombifying. Means we need that. We need an apple. Oh, I saw one. There we are. We need that, and then I have some villager... Some weakness potions. Uh, right in here, actually. Yep, there we are. Now... We just gotta make a golden apple, and we are good to go on zombifying. So we are on hard mode, so yeah, zombifying will work now. I think we're we'll throw this there, and we'll give him that. Okay, you have a good time, buddy. I'm gonna go and um, see if my creeper farm's been doing stuff. So, I did turn off optimizations recently, um, so I think my creeper farm would be in... I don't know, active more often? And I need rockets, so I think we may, if we go in here, we may actually get some gun. One gunpowder. Creeper up there, but we got one gunpowder. Uh, well, I have some in my chest, I think, so... Well, let's just go over there and get some gunpowder. Yup. Let's see how this guy is. You hanging in there, buddy? Yeah, I know you are. You just, just hang in there. You got it. I know you do. You can do this, buddy. I believe in you. I believe in. I'm talking to a zombie. Jeez. Not a virtual, a virtual one at that. I'm talking to a virtual zombie. Hi. You there? Hello. Hello. Um, you wanna play Pop and see? I'm currently on. Yeah, for a second. Alright. Currently, re zombifying villagers. Mm. Mm. It's annoying. 
I mean, the armor guy is really the big one that I did, and I only zombified him once to get him down to one thing, so it's not like I zombified him 99 times or something, but it's still annoying. Yay, finally! Yes, and it went down to one, one emerald. Ch ching It's like too much dirt. Can't handle. I'm just data. Yeah, I'm just spamming to get enchanted diamond tools and stuff from this. Anyway, guys, so I have a fun little twist for this little thing, but this is gonna be a really fun thing. So basically, my tools are gonna have their own brand, their own brand of tools. It's gonna be called the G. Very brand. Tool pick. G tool picked. There we go. Now I just gotta rename G tool pick. So these are my pickaxe brands. G tool pick. There we go. Oh, my anvil broke. That ain't good. Whatever. I have all that iron. Yes, yeah, so this is our brand pickaxe. It's G Tool Bit Pick with Efficiency 2, Silk Touch, and a Breaking 2. And this will cost. Let's see, we want something valuable. Um. Let's see. 32 gold or. Or. To iron. There we, there we go. Now, these are our iron shovels. So, we need these G tool shove minus. Minus. G tool shove minus. Anyway, guys, so, um, Dan TDM, or basically my good friend John, is gonna be on here this in a bit um so let's go to the shop wait this wasn't here earlier when i was looking at the shop what what is this in a fortnight's time something of great value will disappear who this is very cryptic but in a fortnight who 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 did that who made that i mean it looks very nice yeah, but, I'm a little mad at that. I, why about the stupid computer? But who, who made that? And what could he mean? Is this some elaborate prank? I don't think I'll so. have to text Jake later. This is very creepy. Yeah. I don't like that there's fire here. But I wonder what this could mean. Later I'll have to text Jake and, and this just means see. This so something see of what's... great value will disappear. Jake better not make That's my nice. diamonds disappear. I will murder him. We now, we need to get some more stuff for G Tool Picks. So, yeah. Let's do that. Hmm. Alright, guys. So this is a good time while we're naming all these to tell you something very special that I want to tell you guys. And it's a fun little project for you uh guys watching so after we beat the ender dragon a while before i started making episodes i lost all my stuff and while i'm pretty much recovered i haven't named any of my tools so if i end up allowing comments make sure y'all comment some y'all just comment some item tool some tool names that i can name some of my tools and I will pick the best ones, and I will apply them in the next episode. Yes, so, yeah, y'all are gonna have a say in how I play things out on Pop MC. You know, if you want, if you come up with a really cool name, I'll apply it. So just make sure you comment what you think the name should be for my tools. And it could be anything. Um, yeah, comment in the comments below what you think I should name my tools. Thanks for the diamonds. What is it? Also, your head is looking very 
wrong today. That's the word. Wrong. Oh, there we go. Take oh. it. I don't want it. <laughs> it's free. You know, I have something specifically for this. Anyways, continue. Luckily, John's in the bathroom. Otherwise, he would have killed you. Okay. okay. You I will give you 29 gold and a diamond to completely zombify a village for me and get the stuff. You make a potion, golden apple, and a zombie, and zombify him for me. I'll give you a diamond well, and, and 29 You see, gold. the issue with that is I really... Really detest villagers. I'm wanting to do other things. Here we are. Netherite. If yeah, you get the resources too, you have to get the resources. Like the gold and all that. Like the, the, the uh, I'll give you the gold for the for the golden apples. And the um, yeah, weakness potions. I don't have them. You get to brew them. But do you have resources for those? I'm not gonna go and get all that. What are the resources again? Spider eye? It's, like it's like a permanent spider eye. It's like a spider eye and sugar and a brown mushroom. Here, I'll give you some brown mushrooms and just search my chest for spider eye and whatever else you need. No, not. You don't need 18. <laughs> um, um, let me show you your new friend. The villager you're gonna zombify. Okay. What do you need from him exactly? Um, you just need to brew potions, golden apple, and a zombie. You need to get a zombie, not brew a zombie. And you need to zombify this villager, then put the stuff needed to unzombify him in a chest for me so I can unzombify him. Alright. Okay. Here's the villager. Oh, yeah. Right so you here. You need to get a, vill a, this a zombie guy. and zombify this guy. This and guy. then you want me to get you to unzombify him. Okay, so the prices on this is going to take about two times. I don't need it down to one, but I need it relatively cheap. And, I mean, those prices... I only zombified this guy once, and he gave me one. And it was 23 and 11. Oh, guys, uh, don't forget but to visit. If you, if you think you should zombify it twice, go ahead. But, um, you don't have to. You can just do it once. And again, don't unzombify it because then I don't get those discounts. But okay. thank you. If you set that villager on fire, I don't I, worry. Don't worry. I'll, I'll, you want I'll you want to see all the weapons and, or some of the weapons and stuff that I've been trading for? Nice. Yeah, that's a lot. I'm putting all this in my shop, and I need to rename it like all of it. Can you imagine how many levels that would take? He's breaking uh, that go. block. Who's breaking that block? Who? Where? This. It showed the uh, it breaking thing. To me. It was it was breaking. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Give me the golden anything. apple. Give me the golden apple. Okay. Or um, the apples. Apples. I just chucked them over there. Sorry. It's fine. Hi, Mr. Villager. Whack. <laughs> well, they make the prices for you go up, not for me. Actually, when they're I think when they're zombified doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna like kill them, but yeah. Okay. Because all the other villagers, like, that's an abomination. And then, like, when you feel them, like, oh, that's a friend, and that's good that you fix, you fix them. Mm. I wonder if I can drink water. Hey, bro. I have a bow. Ooh. Oh, I have a bow. Nice. Um, I have a bow. This is really cool. Okay, so everything, I can get diamond, uh -huh. diamond, all of that, except for a chest plate for one emerald. <laughs> Just set you on fire. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, you I'm deserve sorry. it. I'm sorry. You, you should be. Oh, that must have hurt. I mean, it kind of hurt. These blocks are showing the the breaking animation. I don't know what this problem is. Just random blocks start showing. The breaking really? animations really slowly. Really? Yes. I don't know what the deal is. See, it's happening with that chest. You're doing it. Hey, I uh, haven't mentioned yet. I'm in virtual reality. Well, that makes so much sense. <laughs> and so what's happening is I'm whacking it physically with oh my, my bare hands. Yeah. I'm. <sighs> And you don't see an animation, you just see it break. Watch, oh, yeah. and I'm about to punch this rock. Watch. 
I can punch the rock to death. I just punch that rock into oblivion. Yeah, and, and you were hurt. facing a totally different direction too, which was really weird. How many levels do you have? Thirteen. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can take three. So, rename those. G, G pants large. <laughs> <laughs> hey bro, I just got these new jean pants. They're the large ones. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good, Owen? Hang on. Is that suitable? Yes. <laughs> this is by far one of the most disgusting things I've had to do in a while. Like, not only they call like G pants, but like G pants large. It's like the iPhone X large. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, and I also need these what, what helmets. What is it small? What, what, is it, what is it small? Like, baby zombie? Like... <laughs> they're as leather. As I'm wearing, I'm wearing they're the leather ones. pants. Mine are just made out of, like, debris that I found lying around in the nether. Oh, that's that sounds gross. Okay, let's go get some more stuff. We need... Yeah, Green mine are tool shelf see, mine are fancier because I I made out of stuff scrap we found in the Nether. Anyways, um. All right, guys, we've we've stocked up, so these things are coming soon. Are you ready for the? It's time for the grand opening. Currently, Jake's the only one who bothered to show up. He's the only decent person on the server. I'm also the only one um, online, the only person you ever told about so, this. So, um. Jake, I'd, I'll let you do the honors of breaking the set one that says opening soon, the signs that say opening soon. And the bubble shop is now officially open. Yay! 50 people coming, trying to buy stuff. Yay! I have no money. <laughs> you just need gold. Yeah, so this shop seems to be really popular. Zero pop people have bought yet, but I'm sure... Oh, wait, yeah, there's missing slots in here. No, okay. I never bothered to stop this. But anyway, this is my new shop. Jake has helped me out with 90% of it or so, at least with the stocking process. He made those signs, even. Horses go here, so if y'all want to come, make sure you put your horses here. Um, any guy anyway, guys, I think that about wraps up this episode. So... This is it for this episode. Now, before we end it, I have a couple things I want to talk to you about. So, there are two things I need to talk to you about. First, why did I start Population Craft episodes? I told you I'd answer this at the end of the episode, and that end of the episode is right now. So, what changed? Um, basically, the storyline for Pop MC is starting very very soon and i'm not gonna tell you what it is but yeah so this will the storyline bridges into the next season so it gives you all a little background context context if y'all don't watch any other youtubers that play pop mc yeah so that's basically it now there's one small problem with starting in the middle of something doing yeah whatever and that is basically you don't need to know what everything is now if you want to know what everything is, or at least the major locations, then check out the other video, link in the description, um, and it basically showcases the map. Now, this is an older video, it's a couple months older, and we've done a lot of stuff since then, but most of the major locations is the same, such as Monopoly Island, and Jake's house, and all that same kind of stuff. So check out that video if uh, you're new to Pop MC. Also, we have more YouTubers making videos, uh, Pop MC videos. So the Savage Narwhal, who you've seen in most of this episode, he makes Pop MC episodes. So link in the description and in the cards. Anyway, guys, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I've had a great time making this episode, and if you want to see me or other members of Pop MC make this video, then please like and subscribe uh this this is going to be a really fun series uh so yeah 
make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be doing some special, special videos when I reach 50 and 100 subscribers. So thank you guys for watching and peace. One last thing. We need to check. I, again, I came here to my creeper farm. I need rockets. Half this episode has been filmed without me having any rockets. So let's see. Any? Anybody? I didn't... Yeah, no. Well, well this just stinks. This is sad. This, this is, uh, this is, this is really sad.